I got his renewable shield and basically a subscriber and commenter on my channel basically um came on bell by the way shout out to him basically asked me to do our eyes uh on the protagonist of Gen X and it's gonna be really interesting considering Beyblade Day is really uh like close around the quarter so yeah interesting to see my speculation before the uh you know official announcement but let's just get right into the video Okay, so first we need to talk about character design. So, if we use what we know from the previous protagonist, we can assume that this new protagonist is going to have a blue, red, and whitish kind of color scheme. And honestly, like, all seasons should just start out that, like that. I feel like Takawa Tomu just kind of knows. Like, it just... You know, it just hits the same, like, it just reminds us of the old, you know, Pegasus, Valkyrie, and I think that's what they're gonna do in Gen 4 to, like, kind of keep the fans interested, because at the end of the day, Mayway is just a dumb business, and the only reason it's still going today is because, you know, people love Beyblade, and it's just the main thing you give it, like, Sakawa told me, buddy, can't say the same for Hasbro, but, uh, yeah. Next up, personality, I think they're gonna have some kind of enthusiastic, you know, vault-like, you know, like, probably something like that. Um, it's also going to be interesting seeing his real character and, like, how he will react to tough situations. Because I'm pretty sure in each full season of, like, a new gen, we also, like, have some kind of tough challenge of Burrito faces. Whether it would be in the, like, in the actual stadium or just outside of the stadium. You know, stuff like that, so, yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I think that this new protagonist could actually be linked to Vault's or the Billy Boss timeline. You know, probably will, because we did get a panel of Zack staring and glaring at these, like, plastic gen Beyblades. Which, if the timelines would already, you know, combined, it shouldn't really be there. So I think what's gonna happen is that, see, this new generation is called Gen X, right? So I think that the reason it's called Gen X because it's a new generation of Beyblade, of course. Or, it could also be a new generation of Beyblade Burst. And I think with this new generation, we're actually going to be getting a lot, like, younger characters. Like, not like five years old or anything. I think they're gonna be younger than like your average uh, protagonist. Maybe like a few years, two years, three years, maybe. It's not just showcase on Gen X. I obviously don't think Vault's gonna be coming back as a dad. Because, you know, that wouldn't, we haven't seen that since Plastic Gen. And that was only in the manga, by the way. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say. Let's just heal, you know, what March 21st is going to have to offer for Beyblade Day. And the new announcement we're getting about Gen X. But, uh, yeah, if you like my content, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.